Hello and um, welcome to the final instalment on my series of videos on the design and construction of um, my parlour guitar. Now I think this is um, episode 17 and I know that many of you have been watching this, uh, this drama unfold over, over the, past, the past months. Um, I've spoken to you about my various ideas and about why I've done certain things. Um, and as I say, you know, the proof of the, of, the, of the pudding is in the eating, and here she is, in this case, ready to show you. So let me just recap um, a, a, a few of the key features. Um, Western Red Cedar soundboard, Claro Walnut back and sides, um, bound in, in maple, um, mahogany neck, ebony hill cap, with this um, little N Narva logo inlay, slotted head, Grover 18 to 1 tuners, ebony fingerboard and, um, and bridge, bone nut and saddle, ivoroid bridge pins and um, matching end pin, abalone rosette with rope purflings. It's got a 625mm um, scale length and it's been set up with strings um, 11 to 52 and the action slightly over 2.5mm for the 12th uh, on the 6th and slightly under 2.5mm um, <coughs> on the treble strings. Um, the whole thing has been, has been French polished. Um, and I must admit, I'm very, very pleased with how she's turned out. So, um, let me give you one of my infamous demonstrations now. Well, let me just give you um, a flavour of what the guitar sounds like. And hopefully, um, as I'm playing, you'll be able to hear the clarity of the notes, the separation of the notes, um, how the volume between the notes across the fingerboard and up and down the fingerboard um, are, are, ni are nicely balanced. of sustain and you know if you're if you're buying a handmade guitar whether I've made it or somebody else um, you should be having a guitar which has got lots of sustain lots of overtones it's that it's that kind of richness that depth of sound which separates a handmade guitar from a factory guitar <laughs> flavour of what this beautiful little guitar um, could do. Well thank you very much for watching this video and of course um, the whole series of videos on, on the design and construction of the parlour guitar. So here we are sitting in my parlour with my parlour guitar um, and now it's ready to actually go off to somebody else's parlour. So if you're interested in buying this particular instrument you can get full details um, on my website um, and equally if you'd like to commission an instrument similar to this maybe made from different tone woods again um, details on um, how, how to contact me on, on the website but as I say this is currently up for sale and comes with a hard case so um, look forward to hearing from you and thank you for again for all of the interest that you've shown in this sequence of videos and um, I hope to make some videos for you again soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.